John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. I've got another cool broadhead to test here today. This one's made by Dirt Nap Gear, and it's their Hellhound, okay? Really cool looking broadhead. So we're gonna zoom on in here and, and check it out and go through the design features and specifications, and then I'm gonna put it to the test using my regimen for 2022. And my Bowtech SR6 set at 72 pounds, and my Bishop FOC King Arrows for most of the shots, uh, but the, uh, the Bishop Fat Eliminators for the really hard impact shots. And for a detailed description, as well as the scores of how it performed in each of the areas that I test, you can read about that in the description box below this video. But let's check out the Hellhound. Here's a good look at the Hellhound. And man, this is a wicked looking broadhead right here. It's, uh, it's got a stainless steel ferrule that's also nickel plated. And then it's got stainless steel blades that are 0.035 inches thick by my measurements. And they're a 420 J2 stainless steel. You can see they're double bevel sharpened all the way around. And they've got a cutting diameter of 1.1 inches each way, making the total cut 2.2 inches. What a neat looking head. And with the, uh, the blades being so long like this and narrow, that's gonna make the, the flight as well as the penetration, I think really good, even for a four blade head like that with such a big cut. There's just a lot less surface area than most four blade heads. In, uh, that, that are of a similar design. So that's kind of cool that they've done that. Maybe a concern of mine would be the durability of these blades because, because they're double bevel sharpened and they get so narrow, those tips are uh, maybe not gonna be the most durable on a hard impact. But who knows, I could be surprised. It sure does look cool. I'm eager to put it to the test and see how this hellhound performs. One fifty. The Hellhound penetrated eight inches. Three fifty. It penetrated through sixty three layers. It's still in perfect shape after three shots through the MDF. Here's the head after the first shot through the steel plate. Uh, it, it went through it and the tip remained in really great condition, but it lost two of its blades. They just broke off. And then the tip of this blade also broke off. So that was on the first shot through the, the steel plate. It did very well through three shots through the MDF, um, but not so well on the steel plate. So it's not gonna make it on to the concrete round. And here you can see the hole in the steel plate. Like I said, it did go through. Um, even though the blades broke off, you can see that it cut uh, all four blades through the steel plate. And you know, it's not a huge hole, but it did cut a hole through it. So what'd you think of the Hellhound? Man, I tell you, this really is a wicked looking broadhead and I can see how it could perform well in a lot of hunting situations. I was a little concerned with the durability when I shot it through the steel plate and yet it did really well through three shots of the MDF. So that could have just been a fluke. And, you know, again, the steel plate is not that important of a test anyway. It's kind of testing the outer limits of a broadhead's durability, but it performed well in a lot of the other areas. So check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most and see if it might be a good fit for your hunting needs.